Yo, what is up everyone? I'm G Chris Effect bringing you guys a new video and in today's video we're going to be going over keyframes, what they are and how to use them. So, with all that said and done, let's get started. I'm tired of chasing you down, I need serenity now, was it too much to ask for on the west side, you're my blind side, you've got something to prove, but I got... So what are keyframes? Keyframes are going to be changing something in the video from one point in time to another. So a quick example is if you're trying to scale something, you started at one point and you ended at another, or if you want to zoom in, whatever the case may be, keyframes are endless guys. It's not just for transforming the video, but you can also do it on effects as well. Alright guys, so the next few videos I'm going to be showing you guys are examples of how you can use keyframes to your videos to make them a little bit more cinematic. Alright guys, so now that I've explained to you what keyframes are and showed you some examples, I'm going to show you guys how to apply them to your videos. So, let's get started. Alright, so first things first is opening up your editing software. For this video, I'm going to be using Premiere Pro to edit my videos, so hopefully you can follow along. If you're using another software, that's totally fine. Next step is to select your clip. Once you've selected your clip, then you can go ahead and drag it onto the timeline. For my example, I did put Warp Stabilizer on it just because I wanted my footage to be a little bit more smooth. Once your clip is on the timeline and is selected, you can go ahead and go to the transform tab and you can mess with the keyframes on there. So if you notice, there's a stopwatch right next to where I'm going to be messing with, which is the scale. So I'm sure you've noticed once you click that stopwatch, there is a blue diamond. That blue diamond is a keyframe, guys. So congrats, you have definitely made your first keyframe. But keyframes are useless if you just have one. You need at least two or more to actually make changes throughout your video. So we got one at the beginning of the clip and we're gonna make one at the end of the clip. So the one at the beginning is gonna be scaled to 120% on the scale. And then at the end, we're gonna bring it back to 100. What this is gonna do is gonna from one point of the video to the next point of the video, it's gonna change from 120 to 100. So theoretically, halfway guys would be 115. Oh wait, 112. Technically it'd be 112.5, right? Anyway, it's quick math. Let's forget about that. All right, guys, so now that we put on our second keyframe, I'm going to show you a before and after with and without keyframes. All right, guys, well, as you can tell, there is a huge difference for sure. It doesn't have to be the biggest difference. Honestly, it can be a very subtle thing. It just depends on the film that you're working on, whether you want it to be very drastic or nice and subtle. A quick little tip I want to share with you guys is the two type of keyframes that we can be making. The first one is the linear keyframe, which is the default keyframe, right? So if you notice, if you press play, the values of the keyframes will change at a constant rate. What does that mean? It'll change in a straight line, guys, from one point to another. The second keyframe, guys, is going to be the Bezier keyframe. What is Bezier? Pretty much all that means is it's going to be smoothing out the keyframes on the endpoints, which is the beginning and the end. It doesn't necessarily have to be that way. You can change it to your liking. So for my example, I wanted it to just change at the very end. So what I did is I opened up the scale properties and pulled the anchor points to my liking. So that way at the end of the clip, it exponentially scales out. Well guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new about keyframes. But with all that said and done guys, have yourself a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching this. And don't forget to please comment, like, and subscribe. Peace.